Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to master Illustrator's Rotate tool. Now before we get started, remember if you have any tutorial requests, please write it below as a comment and we'll get on it as soon as we can. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and check out our other videos. Alright, Illustrator allows us to rotate objects by about five different methods. The first one you're probably most familiar with and that's just using the selection tool, this one right here, and freely rotating when we get around the corner right here. If we hold shift, we rotate by 45 degree angles. If we rotate from afar, we see it's a finer rotation than if we bring it close. Now the second way of rotating is to go to the transform panel right here, and we can rotate it around a reference point. And this reference point refers to the bounding box. So this would be the center, and here would be the angle. So we can set 45 degree angles from the circle, from the center. Now, we can also rotate it around the bottom right hand corner or the bottom left or any other position by just selecting that point, that reference point on this figure right here. Now if we rotate 45 degree angles, we see it pops up by 45. Now if we wanted to basically move uh, 45 degree angles to this point right here, based on that point, we could go minus 45. And if we try to do it again, you see that it doesn't actually pop to the position that you wanted. And that's because you're still keeping this reference point. So when we apply rotation of 45 degree angles to this box right here, the reference point is not right here anymore. It's actually down here. So we can't do it that way. And that's why we use another type of method. Before we get to that, there is a special type of rotation that a lot of people don't really use and it's a 3D rotation by going to effect, 3D and rotate and here we can apply a 3D effect to our object. On single face objects it doesn't make that much sense, you can scale and shear but if you have already a cube you can affect this, you can make a 3D effect basically. Now if we have multiple objects Let's make two of these. And we want to rotate them. We'll see that they rotate together. Now imagine we want to rotate each one of these boxes individually. Illustrator allows us to do this by going to Object, Transform, and Transform Each. And what this will do is that every single object that you, sub that you select will transport, will, sorry, will rotate individually. So here we set our angle, we say 45 degrees and we see that each box rotates 45 degrees instead of rotating around this reference point. Now, another way of rotating is by pressing the R, pressing R, or clicking on this button right here, which is your rotate tool. When you do that, you have a little green arrow. This refers to your reference point, so the point at which you rotate, and then you just click and you can rotate around that point. Hold shift, and you rotate by 45 degree angles. Now we can change this reference point by clicking somewhere else, for instance right there, and we'll see that now we rotate around that point. And it, it will either be one click or two clicks. When it's just an arrow right here you need two clicks, like so. So let's bring it back to the middle. Now to make a shape as the one that we see right here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. Then we're going to copy the circle to there. And just bring it up a bit. Now we're going to select our circle right here. We're going to press R, the rotate tool. And now we're going to hold Alt if your Windows or Option if your Mac and click on the point from which we want to rotate around. So here we want to rotate around the circle. So we'll click on the center right here, holding Alt and click. And the dialog box will pop up right here. And here we set up the angle. If we have a positive angle, so 10 degrees for instance like that, that means it rotates, it rotates counterclockwise, like so. If it's a negative angle, it rotates clockwise. Yeah. All right. So here we want to create a shape like this, for instance, or we want to make dials around a clock, as you see in other tutorials. Very simple, all you do, you put in 360 divided by the amount of times you want the circle to repeat around your reference point. So if we want 20 circles around here, all we do is 360 divided by 20. 
Then once we do that, we press copy, and it makes one copy, as you see right there. Now, to make this go around the circle, we don't have to keep doing that. All we do is we go to Object, Transform, and Transform again. Or, the shortcut is just by pressing Control or Command D over and over and over and over and over again. Like so, until we get full way around the circle. And that will make you this shape that you see right here. And if you want a different effect, you can give uh, this a fill, like so, and a black border. And that'll give you this a shape that you see right there. So there you have it. Super simple with that. You can basically rotate any object, make uh, any kind of shape that's uh, rotating around a point. And um, that's all it takes to master the Illustrator Rotate tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions, check out our other videos, subscribe if you're having fun, and of course, have a great day.